Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Everspace. It is no longer in Steam Early Access. It is by Rockfish Games and it released on May 25th. In the infamous time, I was away on vacation. I know, I missed a lot, guys and gals, but May 25th, 2017. We're going to play some Everspace. I wasn't exceptionally good at it in Steam Early Access. I don't know if they made it easier for scrubs like me or harder for the hardcore, dedicated, awesome people who know how to play this game and are phenomenal. So, I've reset the game, we're going to try it from scratch, and we're going to play through, and it's also my focus of Focus Fridays. So if you like what you see, you'll see about four, I guess, episodes of it, and it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. So that being said, let's hop in and get started. Alright, preferred camera. Um, third person. Game is best played with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, not inverted, I think. I want up to be up, down to be down. Something's not right with me. I'm having memory loops. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. I was restrained. Shot with something. Who is this? I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. I must find some answers. Cool. So I last played this about nine months ago. So basically, this is like a newborn baby for me here. All right. Pilot requires further training. Yes, it does. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Sweet. Uh, assistance? This game is amazing, by the way. Alright, move forward with W, backwards with S, turn left to right with a mouse, up and down with a mouse, straight with A and D, uh, hover with space, oh, okay, left control goes down, and boost with shift. Alright, simple enough. Can we rotate with Q and E? Oh, we totally can. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. It seems easy enough, yes, but is it easy enough? The answer is no. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. Uh, how do I do that? When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Okay, understood. Uh, select the next primary weapon by tapping one, holding down one, selection wheel will appear. Oh, that's cool. Uh, your pulse laser is stronger against shield, your Gatling does more hull damage. Simple enough. You can also switch with your mouse wheel. So we want to start with the pulse laser. And then we're going to want to switch over to this. And Gatling down the pool. Seems simple enough. Now granted nobody's actually shooting at us at this point. So. Oh. And it is only mouse down. Mouse up to the next targets. Set a target lock before oh. shooting. Oh. So the Maybe missiles it's mouse can hold up and or down. Press the middle mouse button to lock on the target you're currently aiming at. Fire secondary weapons with the right mouse button. You currently have only one secondary equipped, but you can normally switch between secondary weapons with two. You can also target lock by pressing T. I think I prefer that. Boom! Simple enough. It appears as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. Sweet. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Cool. All right. What I think I'm going to do, I feel like the gameplay, or the sensitivity of the mouse is just slightly, just a little tiny bit too strong. So what I would like to do is lower the mouse sensitivity by just a little bit there and see if that works. I apologize for going into options and whatnot, but it's a thing. All right, so we have a jump target. Aim at the jump target and hold steady until your drive is fully charged. My mouse is a very sensitive high-end mouse anyway, so it also makes things a bit eh when you have a game that adds to that whole fun thing. All right, upgrade the sector scanner perk to reveal threat levels. All right, we have two options. We can go there. Three options, I'm sorry. We can go there. We can go to here, or we can go here. 
I believe this one gives us the most options outside of this, so I'm probably going to go here. We selected it, we press F, and we travel. I don't know if we're completely done with the tutorial yet or not, but this looks like this is close to how the game began. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. Fuel gauge is in the top you should right. aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Okay. It's pretty far away though. Well, we're shooting at it, and there's some fuel that got extracted. It's not quite enough to fill us up entirely, but... That should pretty much do it. Alright, we're full up on fuel. Nice. <clears throat> that should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. That's fair. Fly toward the junk field. I am all over that junk field, yo. Let's do this. Let's do this, Tang. I have located a container at some distance. Okay. Ooh. Wow, we stopped quick. What do I shoot? Ah, resources. And all right. So there's a beam laser there. Now here's where we start getting into. I don't want to say difficult times or anything of that nature but where you really got to start figuring out what you want to do and how you want to do it so if we take a look right now we have a pulse laser and a gatling gun as our combo of primary and secondary weapons the pulse laser obviously high shield dps not so great hull dps gatling's pretty much the opposite high hull dps okay shield dps uh looks like hmm it looks like if we take a look at the beam laser it's pretty much a middle ground so the beam laser does the same for hull and for shield DPS um, has really high energy consumption but oh sorry not really high a little bit lower than the pulse laser but higher no it's actually better than both of them for energy consumption so if you don't want to have to switch weapons you find that switching the weapons is a difficult thing or it's an annoying thing you can go with this it will work for both but it's not going to be super strong at either one. So if you absolutely need to burn through the shields and then be able to kill somebody, this will take longer than, you know, eh, it is what it is. I think I'm going to actually swap it in. Eh, I say that I really don't want to, though. But we're going to do it anyway, because why not? Let's swap it in. We can leave but this one here. you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. So let's see what the... So those there are beam lasers. There is an ship incoming. I would advise Looks activating cool, right? your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. What does that do? This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. Alright, our weapon damage has been increased, and we just pretty much melted that fool. Almost Resources entirely. are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. Some credits over here. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. So we're, we're going to leave the pulse laser behind, but sadly we're going to leave the pulse laser behind. Uh, I do like this. I think it's quite cool. It even leaves an awesome little trail. By the way, if, if I haven't said it already, this game is just absolutely beautiful to look at. The graphics are phenomenal, in my opinion. I don't know. Some people will probably complain, oh, there's low textures on this or that. You know how people are. But I think the game looks phenomenal. It's smooth as can be. It's one of the smoothest games I think I've ever played in my entire life. It's really, really, really good. I like it a lot. So we're going to go down to the bottom. We're just going to follow the bottom chain, I guess, at this point. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. I would prefer some more substance to your answers. Uh, energy. Boosting. Firing primary weapons and using devices consumes energy. Pay attention to the energy bar below the crosshair. It might be smart to wait for the energy to recharge before going into the next fight. Bring your ship to a full stop in order to increase the recharge speed. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. Alright, so we're going in at the outlaw right now. I'm going to try to take him out, and I think we've succeeded. 
Uh, there's a lot of bad Juju Magumbo going on here, though. The big thing to worry about, too, when you're going and helping places or people like this and doing different things, um, you have to be aware that you very possibly could end up hitting your ally. And if you do that, up on that's not great. The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster, and the Colonials uninvited guests. Distrust runs deep. Alright. They seem to really, really, really want to annihilate our shields. And, ironically, we have that same exact concept or idea. Ooh, a time extender. I don't even know what that means. Let's go take a look. Instead of having a shield or a weapon overdrive, shield, what is this? Uh, protects your hull from taking damage when not depleted. Constantly recharges, but stops recharging for a small amount of time after every hit. So, we need a shield. The time extender slows down time for a few seconds, but leaves your ship unaffected. Oh. That might be more interesting than having a weapon overdrive. I think I'm going to try it. I could be totally wrong, this may be a mistake. But I, I want to give it a shot, so let's give it a shot. Now this is a roguelike game by the by folks, so each time you play it is going to be quite a bit different. Uh, you will die and you'll be able to earn things to spend for upgrades and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. I should have salvaged the last thing that we had, but I did not do that, so my apologies. We're going to salvage this one. Weapon overdrive is done. We've made our choices. We are going to hopefully be able to live with those choices. There's a service station here. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get much from it, but it is here. There are some credits laying around from ships long gone. Do that, and there was an energy injector. I'm not sure what that does. Something we picked up, I guess. Now, you can fire on the baddies. I would highly recommend not doing that. Or on the good guys as well. There's a refuel station there. I'm sure we can probably find something. Oh, there's a bad guy over there. So let's see if we can't go and help out. Now, there will be enemies that warp in, unless they, like, drastically change the game. And that's not a thing anymore, but there will be enemies that warp it in. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk. I'm not sure what he's talking about. More credits. I got some more credits. Um, I said that they found something. There used to be a some sort of like super scanner that you could use as well, and unfortunately, I am not seeing that. There is mineable ore here. That we're gonna lay into. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crap. These are essential for crafting. Crafting. You have collected enough resources for crafting. Go to the equipment menu and see which items can be modified or crafted from scratch, as indicated by the small icon in the slot's top sorry, the slot's top right corner. Select build new or upgrade option to open a crafting list. Crafting and upgrading, but you will How do we how do we go to that menu? Much more. Not sure where the menu is at that they're talking about though, unfortunately. I guess we've mined this thing to death. It's gone now? Okay. There's some tech crates here that we're gonna go and open. Some credits, some compound. And another energy injector. They didn't say like what button the menu was, did they? Because I don't remember hearing that. The service station's there. There's some containers, which I I don't know that we're allowed to, to shoot or touch. If we do, we may upset the people. And I think that could be very bad for us. Oh, we can look around. Oh, tab. That's how we open our menu. Sorry guys, I figured I'd play around a little bit and see if I couldn't figure out exactly how to do it. Alright, so there's repair, which we can't do. There's equipment, which is fine. Um, 
F is actions. Okay, we can build, we can upgrade, or we can remove it. What does build new mean? We can craft a Gatling or a pulse laser. Those are the two weapons we know how to craft at this point. We don't have enough ore scrap, but we do have enough compound. I don't need to do that. We can build new missiles because we're missing one because of the uh, tutorial. Um, there's not really anything else that we can do at this point, so that's fine. And these are the different things that we've picked up so far. The different resources, if you want to call it something. We've picked up. I'm looking around. I'm not sure if there's anything else out here for us. I don't know what... Is it... This is the refueling station? Is that what that is? I guess so. Alright. Well, let's head to our next uh, destination. We didn't get quite the... You know... It is a refueling station. Maybe, just maybe, it would be wise to actually utilize that. Excuse me, let me just scrape the, the shield there. Buy 10 fuel for 200. We don't need 10, we need like 4. So no, we're not going to refuel then. Alright, let's get out of here. So we're four fuel short of being able to go to the next thing. All right, so we're gonna travel here. It's the only place we can actually go. And it's gonna to be totally fine. Or terribly awful, I'm not sure which. Hoping it's gonna be closer to the fine part. You have reached the final location of the sector. Fly through the jump gate in order to reach the next sector. You won't be needing any fuel for this jump. Jump cool. gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Grady and Brunt Prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now, you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector, so, yes. What is this? So this is a different type of beam laser. And it's quite a bit better than the one that we have, as it actually does a bit more to the shield, or sorry, the hull damage. Alright, it's not quite a bit better. It's a little bit better. It definitely has more range, but also has more it's got more um, uh, energy consumption. I'm not sure why it was orange or red. But we're going to try to swap it. And it looks like it worked. So I guess we'll salv salvage this one. There's some other stuff here too for us. We're going to go and we're going to gather all this up. I'm assuming some sort of bad Juju Magumbo went down over here. It looks like there's definitely some sort of crash or something going on. So one of the cool things about this game in particular is you will spend a lot of time doing like little hidey, sneaky things. Like retreating from enemies, or at least that's what I did when I played back in the day. This is a secondary weapon. Alright, it is the ARC-9000. This devastating weapon will annihilate almost anything within a certain radius around the projectile. Caution is advised. It has to be charged before it fires. It does over a thousand damage to both shield and to holy. I feel like, yes, I want that a lot, but... Does it have... It's only got a one-time shot, right? Yeah, it's got a one there. I think I'm going to salvage it. I'll swap it back, and I'm going to salvage this one. Hopefully that's that's good. I'm sure people who are pros of this game are like, Oh my god, what'd you do? That was the craziest stuff I'd ever seen. And that's fine. Some more nanobots over here. I think we can use those to actually repair our ship on the fly. No, you'll spend a lot of time where you're fighting and things start to go bad and then you'll start running trying to dodge the various different things and then you'll go and you'll hide behind here to your shield will come back while they're flying to take you down and then you'll peek out and do like little blasty things. It's uh it's interesting and it's fun and it's cool and I likes it. I likes it a lot. Alright, some more fuel going our way. Anything else? Oh, something else over this way. 
some mineable ore and some other stuff that we're finding right now. The ore has been fully mined. Something going on down here, a plasma field. Is that good or bad? Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. Oh, cool. Uh oh That's convenient. Ah! Like I said, you'll do some hiding every once in a while. Woo! That was scary. Sometimes it works out, sometimes not so much. This is one of the times it, it actually worked out for us. So another plasma field there. Uh, some fuel here, which is fantastic. Up to 91. I suppose we can just go gather up the, uh, the plasma. Yeah, the game has changed significantly since I last played. I mean, a lot of the core things are still here that made the game great to begin with, but there's a lot different, and I like it. All right, so we're fully harvested on the plasma. That's just what I need. Ore. Laying around. We've got company. Lots of ore laying around, in fact. Well, that was dumb. Didn't you? Know Oops. When looting GB and containers, GB fuel tanks. Sorry, GNB containers, GNB fuel tanks, or attacking GNB fighters, there's a chance that your attack will be reported, turning all GNB units in the current location and the next one hostile. Your faction relation, uh, sorry, uh, relation will reset if no new attack is reported in the next location, or when the sector, the next sector is reached. No, all units in the direct oh. vicinity will react negatively if you attack one. Boy. I can see that now, thanks. That wasn't part of the plan, guys. I wasn't doing it to be s snarky or anything. I was just looting stuff that was floating in the sky. I didn't, like, blow up anything. It was just there. Oh, boy. We should probably think about leaving this place. Woo! Bad Juju Magumbo, boys. Make it to the jump gate. Uh, you have drawn the attention of hostiles. Yes, I have. I was hoping you'd notice. I see you are improving. Am I? Your ship is heavily damaged. You may consider boosting out of combat situations. Opening the in-game menu to repair your ship. Repairing your hull costs nanobots. I'm getting the feel of things. Yeah. It's on our to-do list. Now's not the time to be connecting to Confirm it. Go! Oh my gosh. Okay, so don't steal things that just happen to be floating in space. Strange. Fragments of memories. Trying to make sense of them. I had managed to escape. I was weak and ill. My cells were deteriorating. A deadly poison. A cytotoxin. A slow, relentless, eating me away. There was a way to halt its progress, but it would take time. All I could do was set the wheels in motion. And await the outcome in stasis. A long... Uncertain sleep. Nap time! What? Alright, so we have made our jump to the next thing. I saw myself again. Dying. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do the action freeze here. We'll be able to look at the beautifully rendered space stuff. The game looks fantastic. It plays like a dream. It's highly recommended that you use the keyboard and mouse with the game because there's so many different controls, but maybe somebody's got one of those uh, joystick controllers that got like the 75 different buttons on it and the throttle controls and then the little hi-hat thing on top that you can, not hi-hat, but what is it, it's just, I, I don't remember what it's called, but the thing you can press with your thumb that goes up, down, left, right. Uh, good stuff. Maybe it's just a hat. I don't know. Anyway, game's cool. I don't know if you guys have any controllers like that. If it would work with this game, I think it's got the potential to. 
I just don't feel like going and breaking out mine. I don't know if I have drivers for Windows 7 or anything anyway. But that's pretty much the game in a nutshell so far. Again, I'm going to be playing three more episodes of this, uh, kind of back-to-back, -back, so you guys will get to enjoy a bit more if you, if you like this sort of thing. If you don't, well, I'm sorry, but I am rather enjoying this. I think it's quite good, and I'm really, really glad to see it's finally come out, it's released, and it still looks fantastic. I'm sure there'll be plenty of things I'll need to learn, plenty of things I'll do wrong, but in the end, uh, it's all about learning and figuring out how the game works and what you can get away with, and your strengths and weaknesses, and then playing into those strengths and trying to avoid those weaknesses. Or augmenting your ship to... You, you get the idea. You get the idea. Anyway, if you guys want more information about the game, information about the developer, where to get the game, any of that wonderful fun stuff will all be down below in the description of the video, as it often is. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the game. Let me know, you know, is this something you want to see more frequently, less frequently? Just, just let me know, guys. Let me know your thoughts, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel until the very next episode, which should be in just a few minutes. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.